you, uh, Your Excellency. Thank you, Wangiri. Uh, thank you, fellow directors and my colleagues, uh, coaches, Federation uh, officials, and uh, our players. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon. Yes, thank you. Uh, Your Excellency, we are here because uh, we have an activity that is coming tomorrow and the day after. This is a culmination of the activities that have been running for the last six months that we have been able to play Ligi Machinani, which was a platform that the world used uh, to select World All-Star teams. And after that, after the league, we were able to convert uh, competitions into a tournament, which is normally an, a, a, an annual event. And so this year's uh, event, or activity that we call Super Cup, is branded MKJ Super Cup in association with you in your commitment to support uh, sports talent. Therefore, the competitions at some county level were done last weekend, and as we speak, each sub county is ready for the county finals tomorrow. In fact, the team from Kibazi West, Kibazi East, jetted in yesterday to water. They are here training and getting ready for tomorrow. We are here also to appreciate the effort that has been made by our county assembly, because through the speaker, uh, Honorable Bino, the world were able to allocate money that has come to around 25 million. And so that helped to run the event from the world up to the sub county level. This moment, all the way, we will have the event tomorrow to select teams that will represent this county during the Kenya Youth in the County Sports Association Games that we normally call, call CISA Games that will take place in Tulipi starting from the 14th uh, to the 21st. So our teams that will have been scouted uh, by Sunday will depart from Makweni on the 12th to start the journey down to Kilipi. So, Your Excellency, we will have scouts that will come uh, to, to scout for us players in two aspects. One, to get us the teams that will represent us in the national event, and two, to create for us linkages for players to to elite clubs. So football, we will have uh, Kitolo, the coach for Zika University. So that gives us an avenue for getting players to the elite level and also we also try the scholarship level. And then we will have uh, Wambua from Kenya Defense Forces. Uh, and then that way we are able to get linkages from to the higher clubs. For volleyball, we will have Baraza. Baraza is the coach for Stratemo University and also the overall coach in the Kenya prison. And so we are also pursuing that avenue. And again, we will have in basketball, uh, George, who is also the national team coach for women in this country. And then he will be flagged by Ibrahim Kedogo, who is the head coach for the PX3 basketball team that she has just taken back from France, where she had taken those teams. So with that, uh, we thought it is good that you take this opportunity to reiterate to the people of Makweni your commitment to developing or promoting sports talent, and then also invite them, those who are around and those who are beyond these borders to come to be with us tomorrow and on Sunday. We are happy that you have committed your time to be with us. Otherwise, Karibu sana, one day. Uh, thank you very much, Your Excellency, for finding time to be here with us and to speak to the people of Makweni. Uh, regarding the games that we are starting tomorrow, I want to confirm to all of you that we are ready as a department. We have put together all systems. Security is well taken care of. And we are ready for you. The teams are ready. The technical personalities uh, who are required to come in uh, to organize and make sure that we deliver judgment in the fields uh, are well put in place. And we have the resources that are required to make sure that our sons and daughters from across Makweni, as they come over tomorrow to show their talent, 
then everything is ready. So Your Excellency, as a department, we have done our bit and we are excited to uh, invite you to speak to the sports fraternity members and to the people of Makweni uh, uh, in regards to the sports development agenda and to invite them generally to come over tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> we, uh, you know, we are defending champions on Marcha's Pista. We started the journey to go and reclaim the victories that we got in Meru. I am pleased to say that I have received positive reports about the world activities uh, in terms of soccer and other sporting activities that happened uh, uh, recently. Of course, I must also say that I have heard of disputes uh, about uh, one or two or three teams where violations are occurred. I want to reiterate to the sporting fraternity that the rules we are using for sports are not Makwani rules. They are rules that are developed nationally and internationally. When you violate those rules, we must take action. And I am pleased to see that action has been taken where teams have taken shortcuts. Part of being uh, a sportsman is the discipline of the sports. And therefore, I urge the teams that are participating in the finals to observe the rules. Because if we don't observe the rules in Makwani, when you go to Kwame, then you will have to face the rules. And there, it will not be Makwani judging, it will be the sporting fraternity. And to, in terms of our development, we have taken this matter very seriously, extremely seriously. Uh, not just this, this sports, but many others, including the mega run, Tecla the Upe, that is coming up maybe in the month of July, where we will have uh, sporting talent, international talent, coming to visit us. So, for purposes of all of you here, the previous team and the previous games have produced several of our players who have gone to various clubs, both nationally and internationally. So, yet again, this is an opportunity for Makwani to offer talent and to offer these young people an opportunity to showcase their talent for their future. It's not about us, it's about them. When they are on the field, they show their talent. And when they show their talent, they are people who are prepared to take them on. So I'm informing the fraternity, your team, scouts are, are coming to Makwene. They have seen what we have produced in the past, they are coming again to Makwene to check whether they can find a, one more uh, youthful talent. There was a temptation in Kisa games Last, last year, we were persuaded to play with people who are not in our league, in our village, who will do so, without any apology. We demonstrated in uh, Meru that it is possible, but request the people managing Kisa to ensure the rules are compliant. We will carry the rule books in our head and physically from acquiring. But this team, our Munaona, and the rest who are coming to Makweni are going to show that Makweni is truly the county of talent. That is what I am propagating. I have been requested through this department to visit Kansas City. Kansas City has done very modern, inexpensive study. So I'm hoping the department and I'm praying that we can every financial year do a minimum of two studies. Minimum. Using, using that partnership with the Kansas City, so that these good players can play on international fields. It's the only way that we can promote their talent and attract investors like we have in uh, Special Olympics. So I urge all sport lovers across Makweli, Machakos, Ulio, Akati, Mukuje, Mwone, Dimba, Soccer, Made in Makweli, Mukuje, Mwone, and Volleyball, and others, and then you see for yourself, and and and, net, and uh, volleyball and, and basketball. Kudeni uh, Mwone, Talanta, Amaya, Niaukweli, Medin Makweni talent.
produced by these young people. Nanini, I wish you well. I wish the teams well. Best team win. Let's follow the rules. Let's have a good championship. Welcome to MKJ Super Cup. Asante. Yes, 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 sorry. Um, I happen to be a member of uh, Cup, mm. one that produces um, senior marathoners. Yes. Away from building the stadiums, which sometimes we need a camp, maybe like a uh, team, mm. that uh, uh, these uh, marathoners are the best attitude for doing their marathon. Mm. Do we have a plan maybe to put advice on them? Have for another for the sake of the marathoners. Yeah, it's called a track. Yes. The reason the gentleman from uh, Machakos, uh, Macau, came here with his wife and uh, Tegna Narope, who are here, is exactly that. Part of the run that is going to happen in Makwane in July, is it July? Yes. July. 14th of July is first and foremost to have the first of its kind run, Lukuma run, but at the same time identify where we can get that sort of training. I have requested Yavi to be here uh, because she's going to have a game. Uh, she's competing first week of May and hope that she can come and join us. One of the things that we, we have identified is to the, the camp there, the Ngaka camp uh, in Dombe is to because we have the altitude, uh, Iten is 1,800 uh, meters above sea level. The, camp, the, the places where athletes can compete here are, above, are easily 1,200 meters above. We are on the same level. So we have that commitment with them that they will help us. First, by bringing the international players here and sponsors, then we can start doing those trucks. The stadium that is here, the truck is nearly ready. So we have an agreement that even if the other parts of that stadium is not complete, the track should be complete. So they have done the, the concrete slab, they are going to do the, is it, what they call it? Tata on top, so that we can start using that, this one here in the water, even before they complete the stadium. We want to be used in the next 30 days or so, uh, an opportunity for the young talented athletes to come and train both in water, but improve the others across. Thank you. But again, good.